With it, man. Here with false hope. Young Nate Ben. Who you know shake back from a loss like me? Talking big boss, you ain't paid the cost like me. Ain't nobody really knew me for real, so could nobody tell me nothing. Fell in love with the hustle, so the back I start pumping. All that talking niggas doing, it's time to back it up. Finna go in for all the times I wasn't having much. But the pain got me ready to grab the strap and just ride. Swear I miss my nigga, man. He forever. CEO uh, Deeper Than Rap Entertainment. Akron, Ohio, you know, out here in Miami right now, with my boys, boy CNT, got it in, couple videos, I just shot my first video with Force Entertainment, I mean Force Hope, you know, getting it in, it's funny, cause, um, the, when I dropped my, the album I just dropped, Deeper the Rap album, um, somebody sent me a request on IG, and they was like, you like the female Durkio. You feel me? I can see that for sure. And I, I was like, I listen to Dirk a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, I probably kind of talk about some of the same shit. You feel me? Because it's like, he say he the voice of the streets. And I feel like I get him some of that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking to, to the streets too. I'm speaking to the people, but you feel me? I come from that. So I think I'm more relatable to them people. You feel yeah. me? That's trying to make it out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, like, Dirk definitely, you know what I'm saying? Just cause of what he talk about. Like he talk about pain music and so much more. He can like, you know what I'm saying? He's so versatile. He can talk about anything, any beat, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that. Um who else? Uh you know, people say young and may just cause, you know, we both female gay rappers, you feel me? So it's like that. But I definitely, you know what I'm saying, definitely fuck with her she down there open the door. You know what I'm saying? make people feel like it, they comfortable to rap, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. most gay people, you feel me, they don't even want people to know they gay, so to come out and actually do what you want to do, it's kind of big, like, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely fuck with Young and May, too. Uh, right now, I fuck with Polo G the hardest, you know what I'm saying? Polo G the hardest, hell, and Ride Way, too. And I kind of, like, put myself in, like, pain, pain music and just motivational music, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Uh, what about like the, the the show you just did in Michigan? Pretty much. So how'd that go? Who did who was it with? Like how you know how was that? How was that experience? Uh, first off, shout out to Ricky Rich and uh, Master Crenshaw Black um, Black Ink Entertainment. Uh, they had brought me to Detroit. Um, me and Ricky Rich, we had a song called "Watch My Pain." And uh, Ricky Rich, she got a song with Lil Baby um, that uh, is called "This Morning." I think that bitch hit over like a million views. Um, she from Cleveland, Ohio. Let me shout out Ricky. That's my man. Uh, but uh, we had did a video that day, and uh, she had hit me like, "Oh, I got a show that day too. We should just do the video, rock out to the show." Like, I'm like, "All right, bet." So we mashed out the video, um, and then we took a ride out there. Um, it was cool. It was going like it was a um, it was a LGBT, you know what I'm saying? Like a kind of show for for them. You feel me? Still packed house. You feel me? Good vibes. Good energy. You feel me? And uh, she had actually brought me out, like introduced me. You know what I'm saying? Said my whole name and everything. Let them know like the song we had. She featured on it, all of that. Like so, so Detroit show, hella love. Like you feel me? I didn't even know I was gonna perform. I was just you feel me rocking out. Like and that shit, it just turned out great. Like I appreciate that. Like cause I showed people. You feel me? People from there. I got kind of more love than I got in my own city. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that was that was big. Like definitely big for me and I ain't never rocked a show out of town so first show out of town that shit was crazy amazing feeling I love being on stage how long would it go or where do you think we are with the um, rapping actor right now I think we in the middle kind of cause you feel me it's support there but it's not enough support you know what I'm saying like it's more of a competition like it's like some people they don't want to see somebody elevate past them so they ain't gonna support them like they support their own self you know what I'm saying after damn near a city of like everybody for they self if you got your inner circle inner team you know what I'm saying it's like if you know your team behind you and believe in you and you believe in them like, y'all can't lose you can't lose if you support each other like you support yourself ain't no one man but a team um, you just gotta get outside the box. Talk about different things, you know. Like, rap is talent, but you gotta be creative too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like versatile. When I'm, like, if I'm writing or if I'm in the studio, I'm trying to come up with something different. Something that's gonna make me stand out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, cause 
Akron is so many rappers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna get some type of shine, but what's gonna make you stand out more than the next person? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just try to be creative in everything I do and try to stand out in everything I do as long as I'm being true to myself. This question, like I, I, I personally feel like there is, that's just kind of how music is, but do you feel like there's, a, there's like a type of bias that's towards you when it comes to rapping because you're a female? Do you feel like people don't want to listen to you just because you're a female? You know, because that's, I mean, personally, how do you feel? Like, right, uh, definitely. I feel like um, maybe the things that my, I talk about, you know what I'm saying, it may offend some people or it may throw some people off, like, but it's like, it's the way I live. Like, I can only give you me, like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like some people don't, wanna you feel me wanna let me in for that reason like you know what i'm saying but if anybody knows me they know like this is it's real like you know what i'm saying it's deeper than just music with me like you feel me i'm giving you a piece of meat like you feel me people always say like i'm quiet i'm the quiet one you feel me but i talk so much in my music like so it's like if I, my album i just gave you a piece of meat so you feel me like so it's like i feel like um like it's Female rappers is winning right now, you know what I'm saying? But, you feel me, I'm kind of a different type of female rapper, you feel me? So, it's going to be kind of harder for me to get in the door. But, I just take that and push with it, you feel me? And that bring me more motivation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if you to come out or not. Uh, Big Shot just released a new album called Detroit 2, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And on Detroit 2, he had, uh, he, had a, he had a cypher, pretty much, right? Yeah. And it was with some of like, the most iconic like Detroit rappers. It was like... Uh, I don't know about the drama. He had Eminem in there. He had Dead Loaf in there. Oh, he, he had, had Cash Baby, Kid on there. Cash Kid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bunch of people in that side. My baby. brother was just listening to it the other day. It's a long ass song. It's like, yeah, it's like seven. <laughs> even. I, I'm like, I was going to show the damn play. <laughs> so, like, if it came down to it, because I ain't going to lie, one of these days, man, I, I hope we got like an Akron tape, some shit like that, like an Akron tape. Right. If you had to, if you had to handpick your cypher for that shit, who you throwing on your cypher? You can pick as many people as you want for that cypher, but who going to be on it? Who your, what's your all star list? In Akron. Yep. Okay. My all star list in Akron. Woo! I fuck with some artists. So, boom. Me, of course. Benji. Kane. Lil Ma. Lil Ma. Trapper. Who else am I all-star? RP Lil Flaunt, man. <laughs> but, Stacker Baby, I mess with Lil Stack. He got a different sound. I fuck with Queasy Fleas music. Uh, I fuck with Go Hard shit, too. He got some hard-ass shit he just dropped. I fuck with Shoddy Boy, too. I've been fucking with Shoddy from back in the day. I just feel like he real consistent from the city. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Lil Keezy man. Um, uh, Dirty D. You hear the Dirty D? Yeah. yeah, she raw with it. She real raw. Um, uh, I mess with Chi Chi the Yayo. You hear the Chi Chi the Yayo? Yeah. Yep. Chi Chi the Yayo. Um, Eli the Band man. I mess with Shady. Shady. I fuck with uh, if I had Tay shit. We be speaking some real shit. Shit that touch us all for real. Uh, Lil Bubba. Feel me? If he was really serious with it. Feel me? So you ain't got to name them all. Hey. You, got, you got a long list. That's, that's <laughs> cool, man. All right, for sure. Uh, so for I'm sure, just trying to make sure I ain't miss nobody. No, yeah. I mean, I, that's, that's the point. I mean, if you, do, if you come up with it again, you can always just throw it back out there, too. So. Oh, for sure. All right, so like, so right now we're in 2020. We got two years till this. So in 2022, 2022, how do you feel like you uh, music wise? How do you feel like you're gonna progress? Um. Well, I'm really working on promoting myself more, so and actually traveling with it. So I feel like in a year or two time, I should have at least. I want it. I gotta speak it. So I want at least half of the fan base of what I feel I, I'm worth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to have that. Two years is enough time, you know what I'm saying? So I got to speak it. I'm going to have that, you know what I'm sure. saying? 
Is it? If you don't believe it, how you think somebody else gonna believe you? Uh, I know you mentioned the deeper that rap label earlier, so uh, talk about like you know, tell us a little bit about like you know about the label. You know, are you about to start signing any people? Any like label projects coming out? Anything like that? Uh, it's um something I started myself. Really, feel me? I got a couple of silent partners and shit like that, but um, it's just something that I stand for. You know, something that I want to be part of my legacy. Not just for me, but feel me for whoever with me. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just dropped the Deeper Than Rap album on July 4th. It had 12 songs on it. I mean, I'm uh, coming with a deluxe. Probably I want to say before the end of the year for sure. I don't want to put a date on it yet because I'm uh, still trying to promote the regular album. But definitely, um, the deluxe is almost done. It was crazy. Um, I got so many songs on Tuck, like, to when I actually, like, made the track list for the album, it took me so long, because I had to pick between, like, 30 songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, 30 songs, and I, some of them, I just feel like, you know, like, I try to be in the mind of a rapper, but as a business, business tool, so it's like, everything ain't gonna make the album. You know what I'm saying? Some things I feel like could have went harder on, or you could have did better, or yeah. could be fixed up. Uh, but yeah, the deluxe is coming soon. Probably another seven songs, six or seven songs, I want to say. And, um, I want to just promote that whole the main album and the deluxe crazy. Like I want that to kind of be the the face of the that uh the label. Like you know what I'm saying? Just the message you getting from it. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like. And uh, as far as signing people, it's definitely what I want to do. You know, rap is just, rap always been my dream since I was probably like, I started rapping when I was like 11. Uh, me, Ken and Kane had a studio in the basement. Like, I think the first time I ever really recorded, I went to Target, bought a mic, you know, downloaded Mixcraft and Looney Tunes and got it in. Like, so yeah, that's just a dream. Like, but I definitely want to change some lives. Like, I was, Feel me? For sure. Especially if I can, if I'm in a position, you know what I'm saying? Just looking for people that got the same mindset, the same goal as me, you know? This music is, like, you feel me? Kind of making me a better person, you feel me? It's finding what I love to do, you know what I'm saying? Actually finding myself in the music. So it's like, if you feel like that about music like me, you feel me? You feel like you can elevate with it. Do business. Yeah, but man, shout out to False Hope in this interview with me, man. I appreciate you coming through. Feel me? Y'all in my age. Good weather, man. Um, stay tuned for the Deeper the Rap Deluxe album. The regular album already out now. It's on Apple Music, Spotify, all digital platforms. Um, make sure if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, Nate Bands DTR. Uh, Instagram, follow me, Nabans underscore uh, DTR. I'm on Twitter at won't underscore ever change. Get with me. Um, we got a lot of shit coming, man. We've been working like crazy. So, yeah, man, we just we trying to really do this, man. With this rap, man, really, really do this the right way. The right way. Balls, DTR, man. Shout out to Boss CNT, Force Hope, man. We hit.